Ladies and gentlemen, my name is The Big Guy. Welcome to NFL Talk with The Big Guy and Company. Let me introduce you, which you should already know. My friend, Yemi, we're here coming to you live from the Intercontinental Sports TV studios in beautiful suburban Baltimore, Maryland. And we're coming to you today because we had a lot of people asking about the NFL. We have a lot of friends overseas in Africa and everywhere else around the world who don't know much about the NFL. And NFL stands for the National Football League. And when you think football, most people think soccer. But in America, football is definitely the biggest sport here. Much about football. We're just going to try to break it down a little bit, give you an idea of what the National Football League is, how it started, and what it looks like now. So, how you doing today, Yummy? Yeah, same old, same bro. What's going on? How you doing? Not man? a whole lot, brother. You know, yeah. we're just we're here. Yeah. You know, we're we're trying to get this started. You know, yeah. Tell our friends uh, all across the world about uh, what's going on with the NFL. You know, we're curious and we're just trying to give them a little education. You know, and uh, see what we can do. So, where do you want, to uh, guys? Thank you so much. Uh, this is Intercontinental Sport TV, and this is also the NFL Talk with the big guy uh, himself. Yeah, first, guys, um, if you're watching this for the first time, please hit the subscribe button down there. Absolutely. And, yeah, yeah. And and if you have any suggestions for any future videos or, or you have any questions for us, you want us to uh, maybe cover one of the videos, just, you know, after you hit that subscribe and like button, make sure you leave them in the comments. And Yeah, we'll try to get them on the, the next video as soon as possible. So, yeah, just make sure you do that. We love when people uh, interact with us in the comments. You know, it's a it's a good way to help the channel grow. And if you tell us what you're interested in, then we feel like we can give you the best content that we possibly can. All right. Thank you, Mike. Once again, this is Yemi. This is Mike, uh, the big guy. Uh, definitely, Mike. Let's get into this. Okay. NFL. You said NFL stands for National Football, you know. All right, fantastic. Where exactly, you know, from your from the look of thing, where does it start from? Where, 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 where well, I mean, what came up with this? Well, the game, game of football itself um, had been around for some years before the NFL started, probably a good maybe 40 to 50 years wow. in, in its most basic form. But the NFL started in Canton, Ohio in 1920. It was actually started by uh, a group of um, other informed the, uh, the teams that began the NFL. Um, some of those teams are no longer around anymore. They, uh, due to financial reasons, they uh, – are no longer in existence, but we have teams like the Green Bay Packers and Chicago Bears that were here from the beginning that are still here. Yeah. So there's been a lot of changes, a lot of new teams. We've had teams move around, but yes, that's uh 1920 is when the NFL started. 1920. All right. Uh, thank you. Uh, um, why? How is this game? Um, is being. It's, it's, can I say uh, sectionalized? Is it because I have a, a conference that's AFC football teams? You know, um, can you tell us about the division? I mean, sure. How it's been divided, the division? Sure. So basically, when the NFL first started, we didn't have nearly as many teams as we do now, which is 32 teams. So you didn't have the need for conference then. As time went on, went on um, they did add some teams. Um, I know in the late 40s and 50s, there was another um, league called the All-American Football Conference, and they actually uh, absorbed a couple of those teams, um, namely the Cleveland Browns came yeah. from there, who were a dominant team in, in the 1950s, winning all kinds of championships. But really, the structure we have today comes from in the 60s into the 70s, when the 60s, there was a rival league they were a league that came on to try to give the nfl competition they they, they had a different kind of football because at that time the nfl was known for what they call ground and pound i mean we got wow. guys looking like rugby out there man they're, mm -hmm. they're just running the ball hitting each other they're you know uh like 
dust, you know, a couple yards in the dust, you know, and that's that's all you saw. It wasn't really much in the way of the passing game. So once the AFL came along, it really started challenging the NFL, thinking about how how the game could be. Oh, they're they're bombing it down downfield, you know, fifty yards. Yes. That really exciting brand of football. And they um they kind of had the NFL nervous, had them on the ropes, and um one of the owners of the teams in the AFL, a man by the name of Al Davis, anybody who knows the NFL would know him as the owner, owner of the Raiders, uh, who passed away 10, 11 years ago. And uh, he was actually the commissioner of the a AFL, and he wanted to overtake the NFL, but they actually came to an agreement with the NFL. Okay. Uh, and that's where the two different conferences came into play. So the AFL, basically most of those teams became the AFC, and the NFC is mostly comprised of the teams that were in the original NFL, but they've had to move some teams around to balance things out. But that's where those two conferences came from. And then also when you had that merger, that's where the Super Bowl came from because the championship game was just called the NFL championship. But once you had those two uh, leagues come together of each league would play, would play each other in the championship and to, to find out who was the best team out of anybody in professional football. So that's where it all started, and that's how we, where we're at today. Yeah, I could see something like um, the States Division. We have South Division, that AFC, we have East Division, North Division, and also the West Division. Yes. Um, you know, this division comprises of different um, names. We have from the West division as city chiefs yes oakland raiders los angeles chargers and actually the oakland raiders are now the las vegas raiders oh. so yeah they're in vegas now but you know they're still the raiders still the team you know that everybody loves to hate you know yeah. but uh yeah they're the las vegas raiders but yeah it's it's usually geographic but you know they've tried to balance things out so sometimes you have some teams playing in some places that you probably divisions you wouldn't expect but yeah. Yeah. For our viewers watching this for the first time, please subscribe to this channel, Mike, you know, and some uh, subsequent videos coming up. A lot, a lot of content is going to. Well, well, this season that just finished. Can we say this? Well, this well we're, we're getting ready for the Super Bowl. Yeah. That's the, that's the big game. That's the big one. That's going to decide who is the big kahuna, who's going to be the champ, who's at the top of the mountain. Mm. And that's going to be between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Los, I almost said St. Louis Rams, but the Los Angeles Rams. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, with the Super Bowl thing, how does it come or it came up? How? I mean, well, like I said, when those two leagues um, were coming together, they, they were basically, it was a representative from each league. All right was to play each other, a representative from the AFL and a representative from the NFL. NFL. And that's how they came up with the term Super Bowl. Somebody uh, coined that term Super Bowl, you know, and uh, those first couple years, I'd say even the first 10, you know, it didn't get very high ratings. Uh, the games weren't, I don't think, particularly close, but uh, – I think somewhere in the 80s, it really started uh, coming together, and uh, it's the spectacle we know now with the halftime shows and all the commercials everybody looks forward to seeing. Yeah, do you know this Super Bowl is so popular to the extent that it looks like a World Cup? Like, it, it's so exciting. It is. People always look forward to I think it's almost like a status symbol now. You know, people, yeah. uh, even if you're not a big football fan, you still got to so watch. watch. Yeah. As you go cooler or whatever it is, and saying, "Hey, did you watch the game last night?" If you're that person who said you didn't watch the game, you're like, "What do you live under a rock?" You know. So yeah, you definitely got to watch it. You know, even if you just want to watch those commercials, that halftime show. You know, mm -hmm. it's 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 big time, man. Big yeah. time event. Fantastic. Uh, with the before we go straight into the Super Bowl, we, 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 I want you to break down. I mean, you you summarize how the old the game. For this uh, season, sure. Uh, well, I know you support yeah. Raiders. Yes, I. I, I, I am Ravens. a proud Las Vegas Raiders fan, and I know you're a Ravens fan. And I'm in the minority here because we're in the Baltimore area. But I'm old enough that there was no uh, there was no Ravens when I was growing up. I grew up in the era of Bo Jackson, 
You know, if anybody's old enough to know Bo Jackson, if you don't look him up, this guy was a monster. He could play football, baseball. He could play any sports you wanted him to. He could probably play soccer, too, and probably embarrass some people if he really wanted to. Wow. <laughs> so, wow. On we had um, some unexpected teams. Obviously, the Bengals. I don't think anybody was picking them to go to the Super Bowl at the yeah. beginning of the year. Um, our, you know, hometown Ravens. They dealt with a lot of injuries, injuries man. Yeah. Um, a lot of injuries, but they were they were close to making the playoffs even to the last week of the year. They needed some people to uh, uh, win for them. Unfortunately, that didn't happen for them. But uh, you know, we had a lot of surprises. You know, we had some firings. Uh, I know my Raiders dealt with some drama with. Their head coach, John Gruden, getting fired. Some emails coming out that didn't make him look very good. And uh, so he was let go. Uh, their lead receiver, Henry Ruggs, this man was involved in a, a car crash that actually killed somebody. So they had to let him go. Um, but typically, you know, a lot of your teams that you would expect to be good were there. The Packers, you know, yeah. Aaron Rodgers, everybody knows him. You know, the Packers were were – came out strong. A team I think that surprised people a little bit was the Cardinals. Arizona, they came out. They come out, yeah. Um, I don't know if he stars of the league. This guy is another guy that he could have been playing professional baseball. He was a first-round pick in baseball, but he decided to play football. Uh, he's a little short for a quarterback, five foot ten, I believe, but uh, he's exciting. And the Cardinals came out strong. They slowed down a little bit near the end of the year because of some injuries, but – they, they were exciting to watch. Um, and that whole division, the NFC West, where the Rams play, the Cardinals, yeah, Seahawks, 49ers. 49ers almost made it to the Super Bowl. You know, so. Um, championship, but uh, it was a, it was an exciting year. But, Mike, yeah. now, let's go to straight to, into this uh, Super Bowl. Sure. Two teams going in, into mm -hmm. this. Which team do you think, from your point of view, it's going to come up from this. You, before you say something, um, guys, viewers, we're going to do uh, a preview on the Super Bowl next week. Yes, we're, so we're going to yes, do, we're gonna do it prior to the game. Yeah, we will have a video we'll, out. Definitely. But I want to I mean, it's going to come up from this. It's going to win. Do you, do, do, do you want to know what my heart thinks yeah. or, or, what my, or what my mind thinks? Your mind. Because, you know, sometimes they're at war with each other. You don't know who to believe. You know, I keep hearing people say the Bengals don't have a chance. Uh, prior to the playoffs starting, I actually said, you know what, Bengals are going to go to the Super Bowl. People told me at work I was crazy. They wanted to lock me up. They wanted to throw a straight jacket <laughs> on me. They said, this guy is me. I know what's going on. On, I don't want to discount what they've done this year. They got um guy at quarterback Matthew Stafford. He came over from the Lions, and I don't know if you know anything about the Lions. They've been at the bottom of the league for years. Just just unfortunately a bad organization. And he's been there, and he was you know very stable and consistent. But uh, they never put a good team around him. He gets traded to the Rams. He helps propel them to the Super Bowl. They've got a great offense. They've got Odell Beckham Jr. Uh, Previously, uh, the Browns and Giants. He, he was very. He was known for one-handed catches. You know, he's very exciting. Kids wanted to be like him. They're out there trying to do these one-handed right. catches. You know, um, and the Rams also the defense. You can't forget about them. They got this guy Aaron Donald who plays on the line. Oh. Let me tell you, in my opinion, the best defensive player in the NFL. I mean, he could play inside the defensive line, outside. So the Rams have a very, very strong team, so I don't want to take anything away from them. But that being said, there's something about the Bengals that I just like. I mean, came out of uh, LSU University in Louisiana. Um, he got injured his rookie year, so he basically missed his whole rookie year. You know, top draft pick. And then the Bengals draft his, uh, his number one receiver from college. So these guys already knew each other. So he, come, mm. he comes in, and they're on the same page, and the Bengals just have a really, really potent and exciting offense, man. I mean, like these guys, it just seems like sometimes they could just score at will. I think it's going to be a very entertaining game. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, you know, um, I guess if I had to throw a score out there, you know, I could see the, um, the Bengals winning maybe by a score of, I'm going to say 34-31. 
Wow. It may come down to the wire. It's. I think it'll definitely be in the fourth quarter. I just can't see either team blowing the other team out unless there's some sort of injury, which we don't want that. We want the best game we could possibly get. Interesting. So, guys, um, this is Intercontinental the Sport TV. If you're watching this for the first time, might tell them what to do. Yeah, Blaine, you know, get in those comments, you know, argue with each other. I mean, yeah. keep, keep it civil, you know. We always like a good debate, you know. And uh, also, if uh, you've got any opinions on the Super Bowl, Drop your score predictions in there. See uh, see how close you are, and we see who comes out on top. And I'll tell you what, whoever comes out, if you, if, if your score comes out closer than mine yeah. or, or, or Yemi's, uh, we'll shout you out on the next video and make yeah. sure you know that, uh, I don't know, maybe you should be sitting in this chair and not me, and you might know more about football, <laughs> which is all right, you know, because not everybody knows that. Got any prediction for the game? You well, got uh, let, me, let me just be the moderator. Let me just. So, yeah, I mean, just yeah. between because right now I want to make sure our audience enjoyed every bit of this match. We're gonna go out. We're gonna go on live. I think so. Time. Yeah, I think we're gonna um actually watch along, watch along the game. You know, yeah. uh, you can uh live live chat with us. You yeah. know, come in there, give give us your thoughts and opinions. You know, as the game's going on, as it unfolds. You know. Um, time show, I believe. Uh, I think it's Snoop Dogg, maybe yeah. Dr. Dre. I think so. Yeah. Um, they're trying to give a nice throwback, you know, halftime show for for the old heads, you know, who don't like Bruno Mars or Britney Spears, you know. So yeah. I think it's going to be a really exciting game. You know, it should be a good time either way. So, all right, guys, uh, thank you so much. Uh, this is just going to be our first video, the intro. There's so many things we are going to go into. We drop a link. We drop. We drop our phone on the group chat. We're going to have a Discord, uh, Discord um, server set up so that we can argue, comment, talk. Let's 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 build this community together. This is Mike, and this is who? This is Yemi, yeah. the founder and creator of Intercontinental Sports TV. I'm the big guy. The big guy. And it's been a pleasure talking to you all today. And uh, and we'll see you on Super Bowl Sunday. All right, guys. On the same time on Super Sunday. Is this Super Bowl Sunday? All right. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Share the video. Let's 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 do it again. So, Mike. Same time. Thank you so much, brother. Hey, man. It's been a pleasure, man. Take care. God bless. All right. All right, all right guys. Same time. Thank you so much. We'll be back.